First up, the counting of votes continues for a second day in South Africa in what many have termed as a very crucial election for the Rainbow Nation. Final results of the polls are expected by Sunday. With over half the ballots counted and initial results coming in, the ruling African National Congress has maintained its lead with just over 42% of the national vote two days after the country voted in the national elections. Now, according to the latest updates uh, from the Election Commission, the Democratic Alliance, the country's uh, principal opposition party, is currently in the second place, followed by the MK Party, which is a new party led by the former President Jacob Zuma and the EFF, which is currently the third biggest party in parliament. While all eyes uh, are on the vote counting, let's listen in to what voters on the ground have to say about their expectations in South Africa's political landscape. If you for MK because I, uh, I started working while uh, Jacob Zuma was a president and when uh, Jacob Zuma was still a president uh, everything here actually in South Africa fuels uh, uh, even what can I say even market everything that is market related actually we, we everyone was able to, to, to uh, we were able to afford petrols and yeah, because now everything, everything actually is going up. The ANC used to be the political party that uh, has been there for the, for the black majority. Or we thought it's there for the black majority, by the way. Uh, only to find out that they are not there. Uh, many of my mentors or the people that I've been looking up to, they are actually the ANC comrades. However, when times goes on, I had to realize that, you know, these guys, they actually uh, feeling comfortable now. They are no longer fighting for the interest of the people who put them there. Now, early trends also reveal that the ANC might secure less than 50% of the electoral mandate, despite the party winning every national election since a landmark 1994 vote that ended apartheid and brought Nelson Mandela to power. Analysts speculate President Cyril Ramaphosa's party might be forced to make a deal with one or more other parties to govern. Many fear a coalition situation could lead to unprecedented political volatility in, this, in the coming weeks or months. And for the very latest on this, our correspondent Calden Ong is now joining us live from Johannesburg. She's present at the Result Operating Center in Johannesburg. And Calden, uh, now the results are still trickling in, even though the ANC is in a lead. The majority is, it's short of the majority, obviously. You've been speaking to different stakeholders, different parties. What sort of coalition, government, or if at all, can come up? And what are some of the predictions coming in? Well, here, Parabi, at the Results Operating Center, it's quite a busy day today. In fact, many leaders from various political parties are making their way here. Uh, earlier in the day, I spoke to John Steinhazen, who is the leader of the main opposition party, saying they're not going to rule out any coalition uh, at this given point of time. They're just waiting until the results hit that final 100%. But they said their first preference would obviously go to first consulting with the multi-charter uh, uh, that they've signed, DA, along with the other party, other 10 other parties. Also, ANC saying at this given point of time, they haven't started talking to anyone. But, uh, you know, take it with a pinch of salt because we see many leaders here, actually, from various political parties. They're meeting with each other. They're greeting each other. They are talking. You know, let's just hope they're talking work because we, we, we've seen uh, this day has been very busy. But uh, CSIR's latest pred uh, prediction today actually shocked everyone. They've lowered the prediction of ANC's uh, support to 40.5%. So ANC is really in trouble. But speaking to some of the ANC officials here, they say they are confident that they can reach at least 45 percent. In fact, they're saying that from the ANC officials say that they had initially estimated to get 36 percent. These numbers that they're seeing on board, they say this is actually quite good for them. But the main important part is that 
everybody has been talking, whether it's the rumors or not, but they're talking that ANC has to go back to the boardroom. They're talking about whether Cyril Ramaphosa will still be the leader of the ANC after uh, this election is over. So uh, Nambula Mukanyani, who's the Deputy Secretary General of the ANC, actually confirmed that today the ANC leaders uh, will be meeting, they will be consulting with this, uh, uh, they, with their structures, and only then, tomorrow, when they address the media, they will be able to answer some of the questions uh, we've been throwing at them today. But uh, at this result operating center, very busy day, political party leaders have made their way. DA saying they're not ruling out coalition with anyone. ANC saying they haven't spoken, but we've seen them meeting various party leaders here at the ROP. Verbi? Right, Calden, thanks very much indeed for joining us uh, with those interesting facts. And of course, uh, by Sunday, we will know better of what's happening with that government formation. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.